Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about creating print on demand designs using Canva. So if that is something that you're interested in, please hit like and subscribe and stick around. So today I'm going to show you how you can create um, this style of pillow. So you can do this type of design or any other. I'm just going to show you the general technique and then how you can use that to create pillows, tote bags, or any kind of all over print type item. And so this is really fast, really easy. And so it should be, you know, simple to do. Now I'm going to jump over to Creative Fabrica really quick. And so right now I'm on my Creative Fabrica page and I've just gone ahead and done a search here for patterns. And you can also put seamless patterns. You can put uh, digital paper, any of those will work. I filtered by patterns and backgrounds. And most important for this, I've come down here and hit print on demand. If you hit print on demand, it is only going to show you the stuff where you have a license for print on demand, which means you can use these patterns on anything you want without having to change them. Although in this uh, example, we're going to take several patterns and we're going to put them together to kind of create our own thing. And so you can see right here, just by doing that, I've got all sorts of different patterns and just looking through here, you can get a lot of different ideas of different types of patterns um, and different niches. But for this one, we're going to talk about Halloween again, and we're going to go with something that's kind of trending on Etsy right now, and that is Pinkoween. So pink Halloween. So anything pink Halloween is pretty popular right now. So I can go ahead and um, tailor my search here and just do uh, pink Halloween, pink Halloween patterns. And if you give it a second, it will pull up all the pink Halloween patterns. And so there we go. It came up with 135 results for different pink Halloween patterns. And so you can select any of these, all of these, a combination of these, you know, you're not limited in what you want. For my example, I'm looking for three or four patterns that I think go well together. Contrast is good. So if I'm doing a light one, I might want to pick a dark one and so on and so forth. And some of them, can be Halloween-y and some of them could just be like pink and black. So depending on what kind of theme you're going with. So you can look through all of these, take your time, find ones that you like. There's a lot of examples here of different cool pink Halloween backgrounds. And once you've kind of picked which ones you want, we'll jump back over to, um, we'll jump back over to Canva to go ahead and um, create the, the design and put it all together. So for example, here's one, that works really well for this example. So this one has a bunch of different, you know, pink Halloween examples. It also has some stripes and different just black and pink designs that we can put in there. So this is actually a great one. I did already download this one, but here you go. Commercial and full POD usage allowed. If you like this one, you just hit download. It will download it as a zip file. So you will have to go to your downloads and open the zip file and then select the, um, the pages that you want and drag and drop those into your downloads. Um, and once you've got that, then you can just go ahead and jump over to Canva. And now if you don't, by the way, have a Creative Fabrica membership, no worries. Creative Fabrica has a lot of freebies. So over here on the side, you can see freebies and there's all sorts of just free things that you can get and look at. Um, it's also very inexpensive. So if you want to sign up, I think I have a link in the description below this video. And if you don't, well, then guess what? Canva also has a lot of patterns that you can use too. So I'm sure you can find patterns for all sorts of things that you like on Canva as well. So jumping over to Canva, I'm on the home page here. And because I'm going to design for a pillow, I'm going to make a square design. Now I still want it to be really large. So I'm going to go over to custom size and I'm going to go ahead and select 4,000 by 4,000 pixels. And so we'll go ahead and start with that. And so here is my square design. And all we're going to do is go over to the left hand side where we see the uploads tabs. We'll click on that and we are going to upload the patterns that we just got from Creative Fabrica. So here I have a lot of the patterns that I got off of Creative Fabrica. And you know, if you haven't done this before, if you just go up to upload files, that'll pull up your downloads and then you can just go ahead and one by one download these. And so we're just going to go ahead and pick some and this is super easy. So let's say we pick a background one and I want one that's going to be pink. And so I think the example I used might have shown this one here. So that is a cool pattern. Now I'm going to go ahead and make it fill the whole thing like that. So that would essentially be the pillow. And then all I'm going to do is do some cool layering of different um, 
you know, different patterns on top of it. And there's lots of different ways that you can go about doing this, by the way. But let's say I want to go ahead and add some of these diagonals. Well, all I'm going to do is go ahead, crop this way down to make a little strip. I'm going to pull it all the way across. And then I'm going to go ahead and take this strip. I can put it anywhere I like, but I like to do the centered one and make sure that it covers that. So now I've got this cool little strip here. So now I can go ahead and do another layer. Now you don't have to do a bunch of layers, by the way. You can do this any way that you like, but I thought that this looked cool. Let's say I wanna go with these black ones here because I think that the black looks good as a nice contrast. Again, I can bring this down so I've got a nice strip and I can go ahead, pull it out. And I can do it one of two ways. I can make this kind of go inside like that. And if I want to make it so that I've got like one strip of ghosts like that, I can kind of adjust where it's at, put that there. And so now you can see how I've got different layers of patterns and you can do this as much or as little as you want. You can make it simple or you can make it, you know, as detailed as you want. You can add as many layers as you want. So let's say that I wanted to add one more layer here and I wanted it to go kind of a black to a black maybe. I'm gonna have to see how this would fit, but if I center that, send it to the back, send it to the back again, now I've got something like that. And so I'm not necessarily fond of that one, but you can see how you could certainly play with this and add different patterns. I could also go ahead and do something like that and you know have different patterns top and bottom i could do totally different patterns top and bottom and do something like this one here which might look cool on the top and i would just cover the top and go back a couple spaces and then here i've got a pillow where i've got sort of a lighter top a darker bottom and then I've got just different variations. And so you can do this as many times as you want with as many different combinations of graphics as you want. And of course, this is just for Halloween and this is just for pink Halloween. So you could do this again with all sorts of different Halloween graphics. You could do it with Christmas graphics. You can do it um, with pretty much any niche that you can think of. So any pattern that you can think of and you can create literally thousands and thousands of designs super fast and super easy just like this and once you've got it it is ready to go you can put this on pillows pillowcases tote bags anything that's kind of all over print and it doesn't have to be this exact shape either so here's what i'm going to show you let's go ahead and title this and so i'm going to go ahead and just title it pink oween pattern and if i have several this might be pink oween pattern one and i might have pink oween pattern 100 but let's go ahead, we're just gonna go ahead and download this. So I'll hit download. It doesn't need to be a transparent background, it's a PNG. So we're just gonna download it as is. So this is a little bit different than the example I showed you at the beginning, but very similar. And so once it's downloaded, we can go ahead and pick what um, platform we're gonna put it on. So if I wanted to do something like Etsy, I'm gonna pick one of my print companies. So I might do Printful, I might do Printify, I might do Print KK. All of them are going to have pillows or pillowcases that you can use. If I'm going to do Amazon merch, no problem. I can put it on pillows and tote bags, pop sockets and phone cases on merch and I can show you that as well. So here I am on Amazon merch's upload page and what we're gonna do is just gonna go ahead and upload what we just made. So click here, it'll pull up your downloads. I'm gonna go ahead and select my pink Oween pattern and that's gonna pull it up. Now the default is to go ahead and put it on a shirt. Now we're not going to want this on a shirt because a big square in the middle of a shirt doesn't really look good. So it's not going to be a great shirt design, but it's going to look really good on the all over print pattern or all over print products. So what we're going to do is go over here to select products. I'm going to get rid of the t-shirt, but I'm going to go down here and I'm going to select all of these products from pop sockets down to throw pillows. So these are all, all over print. Now I'll usually start in the US market, make sure that my title tags, whatever goes through and that there's no issue, assuming that's okay, then I'll go ahead and probably throw it on the other markets as well. The other markets obviously don't have the tote bags or throw pillows, which is a shame, but you can definitely do the pop sockets and the phone cases. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit continue. So here you can see it pulled up my design. 
and you can see it wouldn't really look good as a big square on that but on these it's going to look great so we're going to start with the pop socket and here's what you're going to do you're just going to cover the entire thing so i'll take it all the way up to the top and i'll go ahead and make it big enough so that it covers the whole thing so usually around a 13 will do and i can center it that way i can center it this way and now you can see what the pop socket would look like. So it would be a fully covered pop socket. I can do the same thing here. Now for the phone case. So the same thing, I'm gonna bring it all the way up to the top. This is gonna be closer to about 82% or so, 81, 82, that looks good. I can center it or put it wherever I like it. Something like that, I might need to go 82. It went down one, oops. Let's go with 82 just to make sure I don't have any lines there. And that's perfect. And so now you can see what the phone case would look like. And we're just going to repeat this two more times. So here's for my tote bag. Boom. And that looks really awesome on a tote bag. By the way, if you're looking at a Halloween tote bag like that, that could also be um, kind of marketed as a candy bag. So, you know, Halloween candy bag would look good too. And then of course, Halloween decor, people like to decorate their houses for Halloween. And like I said, Pinkoween is very trendy right now. So I can go ahead and do that, do that. And there we go, there is my throw pillow. And so that looks pretty awesome. So just like that, I've got four different products. I'm gonna go down here and I've gone ahead and just titled this Pinkoween, Pink Halloween, Cute Retro Ghosts. Um, I did ch trademark check it. This does go through. I do have several things up with this exact name, but always be careful when you're picking your product details and stuff to make sure that it's not going to be trademarked. And even then, it's really hard to tell what Amazon is going to do sometimes. So I always usually test it on one item first, make sure it goes through. Then I'll do the rest of the items in the United States, make sure those go through. Then I'll pick one item for the other marketplaces, make sure the translations go through. And then assuming that that is good, I put it on everything. It does take a lot more time, but it is a much safer alternative than just throwing it up on everything and hoping I don't get like 60 something rejections. So that is just my general take on it. So there I go. Pinkoween, Pink Halloween, Cute Retro Ghost. My brand is Therapy Designs. By the way, I've had people ask about the brand. Um, a lot of people will just use like the design title in the brand um, or something very similar because it's just more ways to get more um, keywords in there. Um, if you don't have a brand that you're trying to build, then there's not necessarily a reason for you to put a brand. Most of the top sellers you'll notice the brand name isn't necessarily a brand so much as it's a whole bunch of more keywords. Um, you can do it either way. I've recently switched to doing my brand because I am trying to build my brand a little bit more. But prior I was doing things like almost repeating the title in the brand. Um, bullets are optional. So you can go ahead and put in um, whatever kind of bullet you want. Um, you do have to be careful. The more you include, the more chances you have of hitting something that's trademarked and having it be rejected. So you, it takes a little bit more thought if you're gonna go ahead and add in your bullet points. I don't always do that. Sometimes I do, it just depends. Um, for this, I'm just going to leave it like this, just the, um, the title and the brand, and I'm going to go ahead and hit publish, and it's ready to go. Publish. Perfect. And really quick, I jumped over to my Etsy shop because I wanted to show you that I do sell this on Etsy as well. And so this is my Etsy listing, and so this includes two different pillow cases. So this doesn't include the fillers, just the cases. Um, and so again, I've got my Pinkoween decor. So Pinkoween decor, Pink Halloween decor, Pinkoween pillowcases, Pink Halloween throw pillow covers, set of two Halloween decorations, cover only. This comes in several different sizes here. So depending on the size of the pillow that you want, oops. <clears throat> And I do offer free shipping with this. So $14.99 with free shipping. If you're wondering how I got it that cheap, this one I did through Print KK. I think I've done a few videos now where I've mentioned Print KK. It does have the lowest prices that I've seen. So I can usually, you know, offer things with free shipping and at a much lower price if I do that. So here's my Print KK one. Um, and I think that's all I really wanted to say about this. Um, I do have this on several other um, 
like decor type things for Halloween because as I said, Pinkoween is kind of trending on Etsy right now. So I did the pillowcases. I also did coasters. I also did tablecloths. I also did candy bags. I also did, um, <clears throat> what else? Coast, did I say coasters? Placemats, placemats. So you can do it on a lot of different things. So just that one patterned design that you created can go on a lot of different things. And this shows you a couple different variations that I had done as well. So super fast and super easy to do and can be used a whole bunch of times on a whole bunch of things on a whole bunch of platforms, really fast, really easy and okay for print on demand. So if you have any questions about this, drop it in the comment section below. I try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. I do read all of your comments and thank you so much for the kind words. It really means a lot as I'm trying to grow this channel. Um, I hope you guys are doing really well on your sales and I hope you guys are really excited for the fourth quarter as it is approaching very quickly. Um, and just take care and I hope to see you guys again. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.